All right. Thank you, everyone, for coming to our session, especially during lunchtime. Really glad to have everyone here. So I'm Zin. I'm the product manager for data ingestion at Snowflake. And I'm Tyler. I'm the software engineer at Snowflake. So today we'll go over um, streaming within Snowflake, as well followed by a, a demo. So what is streaming data? Streaming data is any data that is generated continuously. This can be coming from your web apps, your databases, or financial data. This data needs to be brought into um, your applications in real time and analyzed in order to get better business insights. And we're seeing that streaming is being adopted more and more by various uh, industries uh, of all sizes at all scales. However, there is a misconception of streaming. Streaming is not always sub-second or extremely low latency. Streaming is basically on demand. Streaming is better than what you had before, making it easier for you to get better business insights and get it sooner. So today, your streaming, your data pipelines might be on a daily basis or on an hourly basis. Streaming is just reducing that latency, getting from uh, one hour to maybe 10 minutes down to one minute. It's a stepwise function. You don't have to go from 24 hours all the way to one second overnight. That becomes really expensive and incredibly hard to do. So you really want to take advantage of that peak of soon after, where streaming is in the order of seconds to the order of a couple minutes. This is real, where you get the real business value and return on investment for your streaming data pipelines. And also is where it makes the most sense financially. Taking a streaming solution and that was custom built for sub-second, high throughput, high, low latency is really expensive, and it doesn't scale for most customers of varying industries. It's really that soon after where you can really get that best return on investment at low cost and really get the data insights for your untapped potential. So let's talk about streaming in Snowflake and what we've done to make streaming more accessible and democratized across various industries and sizes. Before, streaming was really complex. You have to have specialized skills. You have to know about Flink or Spark. And you have to tune these clusters for the best price to performance ratio. It doesn't scale across uh, different industries. This is too specialized and requires too much complexity to set up and manage. And it really has to do with inefficiency as well. Um, setting up that data pipeline for streaming for low, uh, low latency um, scenarios requires a lot of fine tuning. And that reduces your uh, business value. And it takes away from your engineer's time on building what matters most, is getting your data pipelines and getting insights from your data. You don't want your data engineers to really be configuring infrastructure and managing infrastructure and setting things up. And that really comes into the manageability. It's like when you need to make an update to your business logic, are you going to take down your data pipeline and have it be rebuilt? No, you want things to just work and have it all be within the Snowflake data cloud. Because your applications are on the Snowflake's cloud, and that's why we wanted to build a simplified data pipeline. That means no more silos between batch and streaming ingestion. Your data from files and your streaming row sets are both coming into Snowflake. They're managed by the Snowflake governance, security, and privacy features, and it's cost effective. Snowpipe streaming for streaming applications such as from databases, apps, and Kafka uh, uh, brokers are as much as 50% more uh, cost effective than using files ingestion. And this is all native to the Snowflake data cloud. So it has all that security, privacy, and functionality that you expect, such as replication support. So again, we design streaming with ease of use in mind and having it be a single unified platform in Snowflake for both your streaming ingestion of row sets directly from your applications, as well as file ingestion from your vendors or from tools that are legacy and need to send files. And latency is really just a tuning knob. We have a variety of different ingestion methods. It all goes into the Snowflake data cloud. It can go into the same table, and then you can build um, compute on top of that to do your transformations and do your custom business logic. And of course, you can do that business logic with Snowpark, where you can really program with the language of your choice. So here's a recommended data architecture. Um, as you can see, ingestion is really the first part of your data pipeline. You have apps and services, mobile apps or web apps, uh, OLTP da databases, um, IoT devices, and all that is coming through uh, an ingestion method. You can either be sending that to Kafka that you have set up today, or you have uh, 
at your applications directly communicating to Snowflake with Snowpy Streaming, or you have files landing onto your object storage that you want to be brought in continuously. This is all available with a variety of ingestion methods into a table. And that's where you build dynamic tables on top to do custom joins, select statements, and more um, complex transformations before delivering that to your end, end users as reports or going and serving it in your machine learning models. So our first um, part, we'll talk about the ingestion options. So copy is our oldest ingestion option where you really manage your warehouse yourself. It's really efficient for bulk loading of files. You control when and how you want to load. You choose your warehouse, and you choose how frequently you want to run it. And this is really efficient for customers to build their own data pipelines. A lot of partners and customers have been using this. This is our oldest and most popular way of ingesting method, ingest, ingestion method. Um, but that doesn't mean it doesn't have simple um, functionality built in. It has deduplication support for um, making sure you don't load the same files. It has uh, file format support to make sure that um, you're able to handle Parquet versus JSON. And Snowpipe built on top of Copy by doing continuous auto ingestion with a medium latency of 30 seconds by listening to cloud event notifications. And it's serverless to scale as you need it. And then Snowpipe streaming is what comes in to do that direct ingestion from your applications as rows directly to Snowflake with no um, configuration needed and as little as one second to medium of five seconds. So like I mentioned earlier, there's really no um, difference between uh, Snowpipe now. You can do both files and streaming ingestion. And these are the uh, benefits of Snowpipe streaming, direct data ingestion to Snowflake, exactly once ordering, guarantees, um, du duplication support, high throughput, and of course, low costs and ease of management. So next, we'll go into pr transformations. This is where I talked about uh, dynamic tables. Um, dynamic tables is new in public preview. It's a new data, uh, table type where it can continuously and automatically materialize the results of a query. So you just create a dynamic table. You choose your lag on the automatic freshness. You can set it as low as one minute or whatever you choose, like five minutes or an hour. And you choose any query. It can do joins, flattens, window functions. And best of all, dynamic tables will do a incremental refresh on your data. So you get immediate results. And only when the data needs to be refreshed is when your dynamic table will run. If there's nothing to do, dynamic tables won't be charged. And it's an on-demand model. So it allows you to build uh, declarative data pipelines with SQL support as well as support for other languages. And you define the latency that you want for your data pipeline. So you're streaming your data in with Snowpipe streaming in super low latency. Then you're doing your business logic with dynamic tables to send it to your end users, allowing you for efficient incremental refreshes on your data as needed. So we've added a lot of new functionality into Snowpipe streaming and dynamic tables over the last few months. Snowpipe streaming is going GA soon. Dynamic tables is public preview now. And we've added pipeline controls, uh, more incrementalization support for more functions, such as window functions. And of course, you get the governance and capabilities of a Snowflake built into your dynamic tables. One thing that we've added for dynamic tables recently due to feedback was uh, refresh support. So you can choose to refresh it manually, as well as suspend and resume on dynamic tables with a simple alter command. So now we talked about Snowpipe streaming and dynamic tables. This is just a, a 20 minute session. So if you want to learn more, please go to our What's New session tomorrow. We'll have a repeat at 9 o'clock. Um, we have other sessions for data pipelines as well if you want to take a look at that. And since this is the Data Superheroes Hub, you want to see this in action. So I'm going to pass it over to Tyler to show a demo of Snowpipe streaming and dynamic tables in action. And it's really cool. All right, thanks, Sin. So to set the context of what we'll be showing today, have you ever gone out with some friends, you start talking about something, you go home, and then on your phone you start getting ads for the thing you talked about, and all your friends say, I did not Google this, and you're convinced yourself that your microphone is listening to you? So I had this recently. I was out. I started doom scrolling and getting ads for what we were talking about. I said, no way. No one would Google this. So I thought, what would it take to build this in Snowflake? So today's demo, this is exactly what we'll do. We'll, my computer microphone will be listening to me. It'll be streaming words into Snowflake. We'll find what the common words are that I'm saying after filtering out some um, common words. And then we'll have a dynamic table that does some aggregations to say, OK, like based on what um, I'm talking about, what ad should I show uh, that person? 
So um, to set this off, we'll have a database in which we have a landing table. So this will be what uh, the words that I say will first land into here. Then we'll have a common words table. So these are words that you know, we frequently say, I don't really care about, right? So you know, the, at, this, things like that. We'll then populate our ads word table. So here, we'll have words that will trigger an ad, and we'll have an ad tagline, and we'll have a score associated with that. So for instance, in this first example with the word festival, right? Coachella has a big ad budget, so we'll give it a higher score. Right? Fire Festival does not have such an ad budget, so we'll give it a low score. And we'll, we'll have several words here that, as we've been talking, will hopefully have triggered some ads. We'll also, for the purpose of this demo, to show words continuously arriving in Snowflake as stream. So we'll just create that on our landing table here, and we'll just read from that. But now, in order to do the transformations and the continuous flow of these words throughout our ad pipeline here, we'll create our first dynamic table. So our, dy our dynamic table here will have a lag of one minute. And what we'll simply do is just get the word count aggregations for a particular, particular user based on a word here. And we'll also filter out, filter out the common words here. So we only get words that we think are relevant. Then we'll create our second dynamic table here, our ad results table. So what we'll do here is that we'll join with the dynamic table that we just created containing our word count aggregations. We'll filter out um, you know, words that don't match, and we'll rank it by score here to get the top results. So we have these uh, different tables in action, right? Data lands in the one, and it flows through all the others. So in terms of what this looks like, this is our um, example application here that shows um, the flow of data. Uh, so I kicked this off during Zinn's demo here. But on the far left column here, we have words that my microphone is recognizing. So I have a model here. A uh, small, simple model that's doing speech to text translation. So, as it recognizes words, it shows them here on, on the left hand column. It then uses Snowpipe streaming to stream these words in low latency fashion to Snowflake. So, the second column here is using that stream to show the words as they arrive in a Snowflake table, the landing table here. So, as you can see, um, I'm pulling from this table like every five seconds or so. Uh, it is low latency between when a word shows up here to when it shows up in Snowflake. From there, we have our first dynamic table that does the word count aggregations here after filtering out the common words. So here, uh, we can see that I say words like uh, table frequently, data, um, dynamic, things like that. Uh, looks like I could have filtered out some more common words, but you get the gist of it. And then finally, on the far right here, we have our ad results table. Um, so as I start saying you know, words that match this, we have uh, the ads that we think we should show with an associated score here. Um, that show what are the top ads that I should be seeing here. So we can see that, of course, you know, we talk a lot about streaming. So we have a lot of Snowflake streaming ads here, uh, dynamic tables, things like that, microphone even, um, and of course, our festival. So uh, that's it, just showing the flow of data using streaming ingest and dynamic tables to deliver low latency, powerful pipelines. Awesome. Thank you, Tyler, for showing that awesome demo. Um, really shows the power of AI and Snowpipe streaming. You're using AI to do speech to text, setting those words to, uh, through Snowpipe streaming to Snowflake in low latency, and then really taking dynamic tables to build uh, multiple transformative data pipelines on top of that to serve ads. Um, this is really amazing, and I really hope everyone takes this demo and goes and builds uh, something cool with Snowpipe streaming and dynamic tables. Thank you, everyone.